When I started this film about the causes and solutions to the climate crisis, I believed that the crisis was caused almost entirely by the rise in carbon emissions in the atmosphere due to our excessive burning of fossil fuels. It's amazing humans, we said, yep, CO2 going up, therefore that's a cause. We've got to be very careful, this is not the cause, this is a symptom of a disturbed system. We humans in the so-called civilized world have the insane habit of destroying the very thing that regulates our climate, the system of life. This film explores how the forests, fields, wetlands, and oceans regulate the Earth's temperature, and what we must learn from nature to reduce global warming. Yes, it is water that governs 95% of the heat dynamics of the blue planet. Water. Simply by keeping landscapes cool and moist, we can effectively turn the greenhouse effect from high down to simmer. Because the thing that determines the greenhouse effect is the amount of re-radiation coming from the Earth. It's a total radical shift. There is a growing movement of people who are regenerating life. The basic principles are to maximize the recycling of water, energy, carbon. So the whole idea is to build diversity. And those ecological interactions give the whole ecosystem a very high level of resilience. Let's keep the rain on the continents as fresh water longer. If you want to solve the problem of climate change, you just take care of the soil. Reversing these destructive 500 years of colonialism and 200 years of the fossil fuel age means a fossil fuel free, poison free agriculture. And so, go to the land, come back to the land. To grow your own food gives you power. The water and living landscapes narrative, the soil health narrative, is invaluable. Being able to build a movement in which people who are disagreeing about lots of other things can say, I want a landscape that helps my community and communities around the world have clean water, reduce flooding, be resilient to drought, have enough food, have fewer conflicts over land and water have the beauty of diversity. Who can disagree with that? <laughs>